Good day, boys and girls. Welcome back. I've missed you guys. I know it's been a few days since my last video, so thank you for waiting for me, and I have another great story to share with you today. But before we get started, you know i got to make sure that everybody knows our secret. So let's get started. Boys and girls, did you know that you are a super hero and that superheroes have super powers? That is absolutely right, boys and girls. So let's do our superpower motto before I share our wonderful story for today. So all you have to do is point and repeat after me. So the first part we want to find is our brain, right here. And we say, I control how I th th think. Next we find our mouth. I control what I s s say. Excellent job, boys and girls. For our last, for our next one, not our last one, we find our heart, which is right here in our chest. I control how I f f feel. Excellent. And then our last one, we put our hands up in the air. I control what I d d do. Because remember, boys and girls, you are in control of all of those things. And that's a pretty cool superpower to have. So today's story was one I had me thinking because I was re I read it to another friend the other day and I thought you would really enjoy it too. Because I know sometimes when we're home, while we've been home, and maybe we start to feel bored or we start to feel sad or upset or even scared or worried, sometimes another feeling likes to come out to play. And that is this feeling. Can you guess what this feeling is? Mm. Mad or angry or grumpy. That's right. And that is the feeling we're going to be talking about today. Because he, anger and mad, like to come out to play with other feelings that don't feel good. But let me see if you remember. Is it okay to feel mad or angry? Yes, it is. But is it okay to be mean? No, it is not okay to hurt yourself, to hurt other people, or to hurt other things. So let's get started. Let me show you our story. Because this is one of my favorite stories. This is called When Miles Got Mad. And this was written by Samantha Kurtzman Counter. When Miles got mad. And there's a great art project that goes with this, boys and girls and, and parents, mom and dads, that I'll tell you about after the story. So don't go away after the story. So when Miles got mad. It was an early Sunday morning. And like every other Sunday morning, Miles and his little brother Max played together while Mom made breakfast. Miles was a great puzzle wizard, and Max was a great train conductor. And like every other Sunday morning, Miles tried not to mind while little Max played with all of his toys. How do you think? Miles is feeling. <sighs> Probably feeling mad or angry. You're right. Miles had the coolest toys, especially the super shiny model airplane Daddy and Miles made together. Uh oh. No! Don't! And that is when Miles got mad. His cheeks got burning hot. His chest felt tight. His hands curled into fists. Boys and girls, when you start to feel mad, what does your body do? Do your hands 
go into this? Does your chest start to feel really tight? Does your body feel hot? Do you feel like yelling or screaming or ripping things? Yeah. And yours may be different from somebody else's. When I start to feel mad, my hands start to clench up and my, my chest get, starts to feel tight. But I don't really find maybe that my body gets hot. But yours might, and that's okay. So let's find out what Miles does now that he's mad. My favorite airplane. You broke it. You always break everything. <laughs> and little Max ran out of Miles' room. Miles didn't care. He felt so mad he could burst. He grabbed his airplane and was about to hurl it across the room when suddenly he caught a glimpse of himself in the mirror. Boys and girls, what do you usually see when you look into the mirror? You see yourself, right? Yeah, but wait till you see what Miles sees in the mirror. <gasps> Who are you? Instead of seeing his own reflection, he saw a furry red monster with horns, large round eyes, and funny teeth. Boys and girls, how come you think Miles saw a monster in the mirror instead of himself? Let me give you a few, a few moments to think. Let's see if your prediction was right. Let's see if we can figure out why he saw that monster. I'm mad. I'm what you feel like inside when you're really mad and yelling. The furry monster said. So that monster was his anger, was his mad. That's what his mad looked like inside of him. A big, furry, red monster. Go away, yelled Miles. Two at the top of his lungs. Do you think that was going to make the monster go away? Does that make our mad and angry go away when we start yelling? Let's see if it made the monster go away. I can't, because the more you yell, the bigger and stronger and scarier I get. So yelling makes our anger bigger, not smaller. Then I'll be mean, and I'll hit you, snapped Miles. Ooh, we talked about that, boys and girls. Even when you feel mad, is it okay to be mean, to hit? No. Let's see what the mad monster tells him. Hitting is not okay. You might hurt yourself or someone else. And would that make you feel any better? I guess not. But I don't know what to do. I just feel so, so mad. Well, let's figure this out. What can you do to feel better? Why don't you try maybe hitting your pillow? Miles gave it a try. He hit his pillow as hard as he could, but he still felt mad. How about telling me what's making you so mad? I want my airplane to be the way it was. I'm so mad. My little brother broke it. And as Miles was talking, an amazing thing, the most amazing thing happened. The mad monster started to shrink and he got smaller and smaller and smaller. Keep talking. I just made this airplane and it's special to me. Max is always breaking things. He's too little to know how to do things right. 
using your words is really helping. How do you feel now? Well, I guess I'm a little sad. I kind of yelled at him. And now I feel bad. Boys and girls, remember when I said that Mad likes to hang out with other feelings that don't feel good? How was Miles really feeling? He wasn't just mad. He was sad. The mad monster was now teeny tiny. He smiled and said, because you learned how to control your mad feelings, I'm almost gone. Miles' cheeks were no longer hot. His chest was no longer tight. His hands were soft. Now fully calm, he picked up his broken airplane and gently tried to put it back together. And with a wink and a wave, the mad monster disappeared completely. When Miles looked back up at the mirror, he was surprised to see his very own reflection. He realized he didn't feel mad at all anymore. What's going on in here? And just then, his mother walked in with scared little Max. Max broke my plane, but he didn't mean to do it. Want I help me try to fix it? Miles grabbed some glue. Max was so happy he rushed to his big brother's side. And because Miles learned to talk through his mad feelings on this early Sunday morning, Miles and his little brother Max got to play together again while Mom made breakfast. The end. So I'm about to tell you about our very special art project, boys and girls and even moms and dads. And I realized I forgot I wanted to give a special shout out to one of my friends. This is my special friend, Isaac, from Miss Smith's class. Me and Isaac got to know each other really well because he was in pre-K with me too. And I know that my friend Isaac works really, really hard on trying to control his feelings too. So I hope he's still working really hard and he's still making lots of great pictures. And maybe your mom, Isaac, can see me your picture from what we're about to do for this book. So this is what you're gonna need. So moms and dads, I do have a link in the description of this video that is uh, can go with this book if you wanna print it out. If not, it's really easy and you don't need really even a special paper if you don't want it. All my boys and girls need is a piece of paper. So just a piece of white paper. And moms and dads, if my boys and girls will let you, I want you to fold that paper in half like you're making like a card. So I want you to just fold it in half one time and then open it back up. So let me get a piece of paper just so I can demonstrate with you. Let me grab one. So just a piece of paper like this. And then we're gonna fold it like this, like we're making a birthday card. Like this. So now we have two parts. Now on the first part over here, you're gonna draw a picture of your mad monster. What does your mad monster look like? So you get to pick his color. You can pick if he has, they have horns or not, pointy teeth, a smile or a frown, um, if they're hairy or spiky, if they have four legs or one leg or five arms or two, you get to pick because this is your mad monster. If you Here's looked, what I found. If you looked in the mirror when you were mad, what kind of monster do you think you would see? And that's what you're going to draw on one side. So on the other side, and you can have mom and dad help you with this if you need to. What are three things? One, two, three, that can make your mad monster go away. Maybe it's one of the things from our story. What did Miles do to help his mad monster go away? He used what? His words. He talked about it. 
He talked about what made him mad. Maybe you like to listen to music or hug your favorite teddy bear. Maybe you like to get a hug or play with your favorite toy. But I want you to pick three things that help your mad monster go away and that help you feel better. And that's what the, that's what the art project is today, boys and girls. One side is your mad monster. The other side is one, two, three things that help your heart feel better and make mad monsters go away. All right, my boys and girls, it was great to see you again, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day.